Another PS5 event, Sony? That's right, what's up? All right. Get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. You already know the vibes, bro. Hey, we got some NBA 2K news in this video later on. We got my NBA 2K guard right here, bro. I might keep him for a couple videos. 2K got the Black Lives Matter shirts in there, bro. But we have a lot. Well, we have a lot of dope news items for this video. Before we get started, I already said to give it a thumbs up. And it's a new month, new giveaway. July giveaway $60 digital code Xbox PlayStation or Nintendo Switch subscribe to this YouTube channel follow me on Twitter to get in the giveaway let's get to the news bro tons and tons of leaks for 2020 gaming events have been leaked <coughs> shout out to Jeff Grubb he's an industry in the insider and he has a pretty solid track record of these leak dates happening. He correctly said, gave us that narrow window of the PlayStation 5 reveal event, and it happened. And so, I trust his source, I trust what he's saying, let's get right to it. According to him, he said there's enough new stuff to update today. He tweeted out on Twitter, and two events that I have to highlight, the first one, PlayStation's next event. He's saying in August there's going to be a state of play. A state of play. The last state of play was fire. They highlighted Ghost of Tsushima. I could imagine this next state of play going to highlight maybe a couple more PlayStation 5 games that we haven't seen. I want to see the UI, the user interface for the PS5, maybe some more features and games of course we want to see one or two new su surprises um sony bro i'm realizing sony has a stable of first party games i used to, i've always said uh nintendo 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 has a solid first party lineup but bro i just beat last of us 2 last night on my gaming channel go check it out obi One plays gaming championship these sony first party exclusives are top notch bro i love last of us 2 but if they were to um, announce another game for this August event, August event for another um, PlayStation 5 event in August, give us some PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Yeah, that game would be lit. I had this game on my PlayStation Vita. Dope, dope, dope game. And so once again, August, August, ex expect another uh, PlayStation 5 event, more specifically, a state of play now I think it's time to announce the price I think in August um, because if they're gonna launch in November August would be a good time to announce the price because we got to plan and prepare to buy your system pre-orders got to go up and so I think August would be a great day for pre-orders to go up and so that's what it's looking like we're already in July and so <coughs> in a month we should be getting another PlayStation 5 event. Speaking of events, we have an even more specific date for the next Xbox event. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. It's also being reported that Jeff Grubb is also saying that the next Xbox event will be the week of July 20th. July 20th. There are other websites reporting an even more specific date of July 23rd, which further corroborates with what um, this leaker is saying. So the week of July 20th, the end of July, is when we can expect to see Microsoft's This is make or break for 
X. They got so much riding on this event right here, bro. The first event was a flop. It started off real lit with this bright infinite. I was like, whoa, this game looks amazing. <laughs> then from there on, it just went down here. Nothing but trailers, no gameplay. Um, but if they want to captivate fans, restore confidence, they got to bring it in this. Uh, I can't underestimate, I can't emphasize enough, underscore how important this July 23rd, July, the week of July 20th event is going to be for Xbox. I'm already still leading of holding on to my Xbox One X a little longer until I have a compelling, I need a compelling reason to um, get an Xbox Series X now, man, since that PlayStation 5 event. <laughs> Ratchet and Clank, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So, that's pretty dope, and I have to give Microsoft some credit for this. This could, this sounds great, in concept but I want to see how they actually implement it Microsoft has announced they're going to have up to 100 games are getting free Xbox one demos unreleased games will be getting um, gamma gamma demos later this month this is a part of the whole summer games fest with Jeff Keighley so Xbox is partnered with the Summer Games Fest, and this is specifically says more than 60 games will be coming to Xbox later this month. A demo of the games that we can try out. Now, this sounds great. This sounds amazing. <laughs> but if it's a whole bunch of indie titles, games that we don't really care about, I'm almost like, yeah, so what? But, just imagine, they announce Halo Infinite. You can play Halo Infinite. You can play a stage of Halo Infinite. Now, download it on your Xbox. That would be fire. That would be fire, and that's also my problem. It's gonna be, <laughs> you can play it on your current gen console. So, what's the, what's the incentive to upgrade to a Series X? And so, um, I think that's dope in concept. Waiting, waiting, waiting to see how they actually implement this. There's gonna be a difference how you implement it. That's different. And, as I reported, I actually um, I mentioned this on my um, gaming channel. Again, Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships. That's where I do more gameplay. The NBA 2K21 Next Gen cover athlete has been announced. Zion. 2K is my game, bro. That's the game I'm going to spend the most hours in <laughs> this upcoming year. Especially on my gaming channel. We're going to be on that 2K21 heavy, bro. Zion, he's been announced as the next gen cover athlete, and this has some PlayStation 5, um, Xbox Series X imp uh, implications for other games. How are game developers going to transition us from one gen to another? I mean, if we buy NBA 2K21 on the PlayStation 4, if this game comes out in September, and then the PlayStation 5 launches in November, are we going to have to double dip if we want to get a next gen experience now? EA is actually taking a consumer friendly approach. Who would have thought? If you buy Madden 21 on the PlayStation 4, you get the PlayStation 5 version for free. For free. And so, hats off to EA for doing that. Now, well, 2K follow suit. I think they should, at least for this year. Next year, separate. All right, you buy the PlayStation 4, you got to spend $60 if you want to get the PlayStation 5 version. But I think this year, with consoles in the transition and gamers wanting to play, they need to go ahead and give us that free upgrade for this year. One time, a one time thing. Um, make gamers happy. All right, dude, that's it for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming. Bro, we out. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. 
Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan Plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.